All right, guys. So I'm gonna be doing my uh, Appalachian Trail uh, gear gear list or my pack. Um, this is pretty much I'm gonna be taking on the trail. The only thing I don't have shown is gonna be the food. Um, we're gonna pick up the food in uh, on Georgia in Georgia on March probably the sixth before we start the trail on the seventh. So we'll be stopping with that. So everything here that you see is 99% sure going going inside the pack. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, starting off, I'm taking the Exos 58 uh, liter bag, um, Osprey. Um, this is, I got picked this up at REI. I got a good deal on this. I think it's only 125 Um I think REI is now coming out with a new line of ultralight backpacks. But for my needs, this is perfect. Um, it's really comfy. And inside, it's just going to be a trash compactor bag. That's going to be my liner. Um, so that is the pack. Moving on to some supplies for our water filtration system. I have the Sawyer Squeeze, which it worked wonderful when we used it on the trail, for the Grass and Launch Loop Trail. I'm probably going to upgrade the different bag. Um, I found that Sawyer Squeeze bags are kind of, they tend to wear out pretty fast. But other than that, this is super lightweight, um, very compact. And it worked great. The uh, water tasted great from this. And then I have a Sea to Summit cup. It folds down nicely, just like that. Um, this is going to be my, you know, tea, coffee, maybe hot chocolate cup. And it's light. Got a nice color, green, a nice color. And it folds down super easy, collapsible. And with that, also have the Cetus Summit um, spoon, titanium spoon. And then for a cooking system, we I have the MSR Pocket Rocket Two. Um, this is the old, the old. This came out with the new uh, version. This is the new version. I haven't used it yet. Um, on the Grafton Lush Loop Trail, we used uh, Jet Boil, which Clyde carried carried the Jet Boil. Not sure if we're going to be using jet boil or this. I'm mean, probably going to be taking both, honestly, because this weighs next to nothing. The jet boil worked really well, in fact. So we might just be using the jet boil, and this might be a backup system just in case. Along with the basic fuel, um, propane fuel mix. And then my pot for eating, it's a Tokes Titanium 700. I believe this is 750. No, this is a 700 milliliter uh, Tokes titanium pot. Uh, this is very light. Bought this off the Tokes website. Has these nice little handles you can push out. And this will be my day to day eating pot. Anyways, I got these Ultra Lone Peaks 3.5s. And these, this shoe is super comfy. I think it's 125 I spent on these. Um, so the three point, this is the new, the 3.0 was pop, really popular. This is a 3.5 and the ultra lone piece are known for their known drop, no drop shoe. So if you're not used to that, um, should try these out before you immediately getting them. Uh, the sole, uh, cushion is super comfy. I ran a few miles in these on, on trails and pavement and they've worked great. So hopefully I can get as many miles as I can out of those before I have to get a new shoe. And then I have my hiking poles. These are black diamond. Oh no. Oh no. These are just black diamond uh, trekking poles, little clips. They go out to 140, 140 centimeters. And we're going to be using this, um, this pole to uh, set up our tent since our tent can use a pole. Um, and 140 centimeters is perfect size for our tent. Um, speaking of which, I don't have the tent. Uh, the tent's at Clyde's house, but we'll both be using the tent, or we'll be sleeping in the tent, obviously. And that is the tarp tent double rainbow, if anyone's wondering. Uh, we also use that on the trail, um, a loop trail for Grab the Notch, and it worked perfectly fine. So those are my hiking poles. And then my sleeping pad, it's just a Thermarest Z Light. Nothing fancy. This was really cheap. I think it was 15 bucks. Um, 
I sleep anywhere, so I kind of opted not to have a super comfy and self-inflatable pad. I'm just using this, you know, pretty light, lightweight, cheap um, pad. And I can fall, I, I fell asleep easily on this. With that, I have a sleeping bag, L.L. Bean Ultralight Sleeping Bag, 20 degree, just a regular size. Um, it's orange, I'm not going to take it out of the pack. But this is a sleeping bag I've been, I will be using. Moving on, these are my, just the dry bags we're probably using. The Sea to Summit 8 liter. I'll try to probably use some accessory bag for all my accessories, um, phone, uh, medication, you know, phone charger, electronics, anything small going there. Uh, this bag, the X-Pad was actually gifted to me from a guy. Um, I never heard of that brand actually but that was going to be my clothing bag all my clothes are going to go in there what i'm not going to be using and then the sea to summit this is a 20 liter bag this will probably be our food bag all our food's probably going to be going in there and then up here i have a few this is the anchor power anchor power core charger this is the 20,000 um 20,000 i think it's, ah, is it 20 yes yeah, it's a 20,000 version um, and this is probably overkill, but since we're going to be doing a lot of vlogging, a lot of video shooting, um, with our phones, I have my GoPro, um, I decided to get the biggest possible one. It's a brick, it is, um, so for all you ultralight hikers out there, you probably would not want this at all. It's, it's pretty hefty, but I don't mind the weight, I'm not going for super ultralight. And then over here, it's have a toothbrush, and then in the bag, I'll probably cut the toothbrush down. So just save a little bit of weight. Um, it's not really that big of a deal for me. But in the bag, I have some Tylenol, Advil, um, some hydrocortisone, um, basic basic med med stuff. Uh, I probably put some uh, band aids in there and an antifungal cream, uh, just for basic medical stuff in case we need it. All right, moving on to the clothes. So this is. The, my clothes and my camp clothes I'll be taking. I'll start off the Patagonia. Uh, this is the Patagonia down jacket pullover. Um, the color is really nice, like a steel kind of steel blue color. Um, this is going to be my camp wear and possibly sleeping in it. I sleep pretty hot, so I might not sleep in it, but we're hiking in March, so the weather is so random down in the south, especially in Virginia where I was for five years. And it could snow one day, it could be raining the next day, it could be 60 degrees, and then it could be 20 degrees. So I'm taking this Patagonia down. I wore it. It's super, super warm. It's like just basic shorts I have laying around. They're just gray. It's under armor. And I'll be wearing that with also my second pair of shorts. It's Nike Fit running shorts. It has a little pocket in the back, which is kind of nice. But those are my two shorts I'll be wearing. I did have a uh, cutoff, uh, cutoff pants. I wasn't sure if I was going to bring those, but I think I'll stick to wearing these shorts instead. And then I have two pairs of these ex officio boxer briefs. These were kind of uh, luxury items. So these are, I think these are twenty five dollars for a pair of briefs. But I've heard, I heard great things about these. Um, I tried them on; they felt super comfortable. Hopefully, prevent a lot of chafing. And with that, I have these Darn Tough socks. I love Darn Tough. I have a bunch of these socks. But I'm taking two. I'm not sure if I'm taking three pairs. I think two pairs would be more than enough. The third pair would just be luxury, really. Um, obviously, one's going to be hiking. And then after the end of the day, I'll change into either or, whichever I choose for hiking. But the third, but the third pair I might bring just because uh, after a while, socks are probably the worst smelling things to go. Um, for body wise odor, but we'll see how I feel. Moving on, I have this smart wool long underwear. These are really nice. I picked these up, I think, online. And this is a long underwear. They're really warm, they're light, and they're comfy. So, this is also probably going to be a uh, camp item. Paired with that, I have this. Uh, smart wool uh, long sleeve shirt. I wore this skiing, and this is also really nice, um, really warm. And this will also be 
a camp item if it gets to that point where I need to put on another layer. And again, a lot of this, I think this, this and the smart wall underwear will be getting sent home uh, midway through the hike. I won't need that in the summer months hiking. So I think this is just going to be beginning clothing for the hat and the long underwear. And then I had these two t-shirts, which are my hiking shirts, outdoor research t-shirt, and then just this t-shirt I found laying around the house. I think it's a workout tee. Those are going to be my hiking shirts. Nothing fancy about those. This is a little bit lighter than this. Moving on, I have these gloves. I don't really normally wear gloves hiking. I don't really wear gloves at all, really, but I don't know how it's going to be the weather with why. So I got picked up these gloves. They're just from REI as well. And these have little... Uh, rubber things, grippy things also work well. They also work with your phone, so you can use your phone while you're wearing these gloves, which are nice. And then my last item is the Frog Togs rain jacket. I picked this up at Walmart. Um, this is my rain, my rain apparel. And if you don't have one of these, it's let me tell you the material feels really flimsy. It's it's paper thin, but it's super light. I've heard these things ripping and the pants rip, which I opted not to get the pants. I heard the pants ripped quite easily. But as long as you're careful with this, these just should hold up. We know well. Might have to do some patchwork if any rips. But this is just basically, you know, off of the rain. But if it's going to be raining a lot, there you know, you're going to get wet regardless if you had anything, you know, a rain thing anyways while you're hiking. So just kind of a, you know, comfort in case I really need something to cover me while it's raining. So that's the gear. It's not super light. It's not really heavy. It's not super fancy. It's just what I what I got and what I need and what I want, basically. Um, I don't know how heavy it is. I think we'll be doing weighing our packs here in the next week or so. So we might do a video on how heavy our packs are. I think I know it's under 20 pounds. Uh, I'm can, I can be sure of. Um, I, I didn't have any of the food in there either. So that will probably add a little bit of weight. Be sure to follow us on YouTube here. Subscribe to us. Leave, leave a comment. You can write below what I might be missing or what, you know, what you, you know, suggestions, tips or anything. Also, go to our new blog that we have, mainlyhikes.com. Um, that's that'll be our blog that we will be posting to a lot more when on on the trail. We'll be writing, you know, little little stories to y'all and posting videos there. And we also have, you know, past YouTube videos and some day treks that we've done. Also, follow us on Instagram. I think we have Snapchat now. I'm not quite sure. And Facebook. With that said and done, see you at the top.